hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is kelsey if you're new and today's video is just a very summery vibe um thrifting i have a thrift haul a little bit of what i've been doing around my house look at my geraniums y'all they're finally blooming even after all the rain i've had them in the sun for a little while so they are hot pink and this poor geranium has been through it it fell in the storm got knocked over crushed and I set it up and put it in the sun and it just acts like nothing ever happened. I am decluttering my house a little bit. So I'm putting stuff in my car that I'm getting rid of and cleaning out. I've got a lot of the kids really big toys that I've taken out of their rooms. They no longer play with. They have told me they do not want them anymore. So it's time to get rid of those. We also went shopping a little bit today at a children's consignment store. Hey y'all, we're back home. I wanted to share with y'all really fast everything I got the boys at the little children's thrift shop. Uh, this is like a non-profit organization too, so I really like donating my stuff there and shopping there. The first thing I got was some Nike Court Legacies for my son Brigham. They're just dirty. All they need to be is washed up, and these are some awesome shoes. I actually already have these that have the tan right here and the black check. And I love them, they're Velcro. So um, another thing about this little local thrift shop that's for kids is they do like a reward system. So I get points and money off and all that. And if you donate toys, clothing, whatever, if you make any donation and purchase stuff that same day, you get 25% off your order. So I did that today too. So these were listed at $12.99 and I ended up paying about $9 for them, which if you know that is an absolute steal for some of these court legacy shoes um got right this just a little basic tee with the pocket i love these kind of shirts they're so cute dress them up or down probably paid yeah a dollar 99 so take off 25 percent off you know it's like it beats goodwill any day so and then what they're they had like a little um spot in the front i'm sorry i've been doing that thing with my teeth lately and i cannot break the habit so just bear with me because i'm trying to be conscious of it like i keep going and i don't know why anyways this is for brigham this is his little fourth of july shirt it has the monster truck and the fireworks on it i think that's so cute for him and of course i had to get one of them the very basic old navy fourth of july did y'all wear these as kids because my mom every single year every single year we had an old navy t-shirt with the flag for fourth of july so this is channing's so cute i love those little vintage looking tees that one's not super vintage but this one is also old navy this one's for riot i thought this one was different it just has like a bunch of little american flags on it it's white so they're not all matchy matchy but they're fourth of july shirts and they were all less than two dollars so because i am big on mickey mouse i love disney clothes for my kids i grabbed this one for channing so cute it has a little brown and um that's gonna look cute with some black shorts and they had this one listed as a set so these were on the hanger together these are some grayson mini shorts from target if you know that brand that's really a really cute brand they carry some cute stuff and then they just paired it with like this little red old navy t-shirt so they had this one priced at $2.99 for both of these and I got 25% off of course so I paid $19 for all of these clothes and a really nice pair of shoes so um you really can't beat that that was that was a good little shopping trip and I got to donate a lot of items to them and it's for a good cause so that's it for the little the little boys shopping trip for today and i'll go ahead and show y'all my thrift haul that i ended up getting from goodwill So this footage right here is actually from a couple days ago when we were in the Goodwill. It had actually been like a couple weeks since I had stepped foot into a thrift store, period. So it was kind of nice to get out and go see what they had new in the Goodwill. 
I really liked these bowls. They were the mainstay, Mainstays brand from Walmart, but I thought they were really cute. They look like dough bowls. I just don't think they were the right color for what I like. So I just have a little mini thrift haul I'm going to share with you guys. I didn't get a whole lot that day. I also wanted to tell y'all that I don't know when Goodwill does like their restock, but this was a Sunday when we went in and oh my gosh, the shelves were full and I found the best deals on like really nice name brand shoes and clothes and stuff like that. I didn't get any clothes, but just looking, I thought, man, Sunday is really a good time to go into the Goodwills. Here's just a little ceramic bowl that I picked up. It's just a serving bowl. I used it that day when I cut my kids' watermelon up. And then I found the prettiest coffee mug. I know I always pick up a coffee mug when I'm in there, but this one really is one of my favorites. As of recently, it's a uh, stoneware and the flower print on the front actually looks like some plates that I have in my kitchen. And I just really like the handle. So I was pretty happy with this coffee mug. And these shoes right here have got to be the best deal on little nike shoes i have ever seen i paid 229 for these shoes and all they need is new laces so i'm going to put some shoelaces in those and they're going to be for my youngest son and then i found this beautiful set of pictures i love the house with the creek and the woman i just think it's so pretty i paid 329 for each of them i'm not sure about the gold frames but for now i'm gonna just see what they look like i think they're a little bit too cheaply gold looking for me but i have had this basket in my bathroom i put this here a couple weeks ago in one of my videos but i do not like it i feel like it's too big it takes up too much space holding my washcloths right there so i'm just going to switch some stuff around and put these frames on this wall So after about a year of living in our house, I decided to paint our bathroom like a sage green color. It's that really popular color by Sherwin-Williams and I don't like it y'all. I don't know why all of my decor just kind of clashes with it or maybe I just am just used to really neutral and creamy colored walls I think that's just what I'm drawn to and what I like and I like to bring all of my colors out and textures wood all the metals and all that kind of stuff in my home decor and I like to keep my walls just like a very neutral color and so I think that's why I don't like it because I'm always like drawn to the white walls so I don't know i'm probably gonna paint it soon i will still have these pictures up there because i really love how they look i did play around with the idea of having them hung up somewhere else but the pictures have so much detail and like so much in them that they need to be like looked at and appreciated up close and that's why I chose to put them by my bathroom mirror so people can really see the detail and that's where they're going to stay whether I paint it or not so this is a picture that I got at Goodwill this is another piece of my haul and this is like that knitted type of artwork and it's Christmas themed so of course I pick it up because if I see something I really love that's going to be part of my Christmas decor I'm going to go ahead and get it and it has a date on it and it says 1986 so i thought that was really neat it's very pretty it's like a really deep red color so i grabbed that 
I wanted to share something with y'all that I tested out over the past week. We have so many fruit flies and regular house flies. So I went ahead and splurged and got this fly trap. All you do is peel off the sticky part on the back and they are drawn to the light. So I turned my lamp off at night and when you came in there, like at night, you could see them trying to get to it like they're attracted to it. And it actually worked. I've caught like at least three to four house flies overnight and several fruit flies and i need to put it like in my laundry room where my trash can is but there it is y'all it really does work so if you've been wanting to try one of those out we have so many flies it's just terrible so definitely try it out i recommend it target had a five dollar coupon off the other day so that's why i went ahead and bought it and now we're gonna come outside i'm laying out that new rug i got from the bins on my porch i think we're supposed to have lots of sunlight this week i'm gonna let it air out and clean my deck off and finally just have some enjoyment to be outside and out of the rain i'm so sick of the rain i really could just lay in the sun and sunbathe for like hours um so i'm cleaning my deck off here i'm putting this plant right here look how good my pothos look y'all it's like growing really good my mom was getting rid of that little basket so i told her uh-uh give that to me i want that and so i put my pothos in it and we're just gonna spend some time chilling outside for a little bit enjoying a clean deck while it lasts no limbs no sticks no leaves on it we'll see how long it takes before another storm blows in Please look at how my toddler takes his Crocs off. His method is to just shake them things until they go flying. So after we did all kind of work outside cleaning up, I did more in the yard that I didn't film. It's taken us probably over a week now just to get the limbs on a burn pile. And here I will insert a clip of our burn piles. They are huge. And now the problem is we have to wait until everything kind of dries up to burn it even if we poured gasoline it would just be kind of dangerous it would probably be a really big fire and it still would not burn through that wood it is drenched our ground is saturated so we're just going to hang out on the deck that josh built for us we've got the fan going it's keeping us cool blowing some bubbles with my kids and just finally do what you're supposed to do during the summer and hang out outside good grief like i just can't even tell you how discouraging it is to be stuck in the house all the time with the rain and seeing all of our hard work like put into our yard and just get literally destroyed by those storms so this was a really good day for us to be outside as a family and just letting my kids play I wanted to tell y'all too how thankful I am for all of you here on my channel. I officially hit 5,000 subscribers and I was so excited. So thank y'all for being here. Thank you for watching, liking, sharing everything you do to support my channel. It supports me and my family. I hope y'all have a great week and I will see y'all in the next video.